Because people should drop love for the Lord. Um, you know? Oh boy. Oh, are we on live? Or oh, yeah, live we live now? already. Hey. So, what I like to do, I like to give a little bit of time, you know what I'm saying, before I go live. I let the people be like, oh, it's the king of address. Let me tune in. Actually, what you can do, right? Um, you know the invite button, right? Mm -hmm. Or the yeah. share button? That's the one, two, three, four, five. Not that one. That's not it. The one before that. Yep. Where are you going? And just click invite for everybody. And just scroll down and just be like, mm -hmm, just like that. They gonna, they gonna see it. This is my first uh, knowledgeable time on Facebook Live. I've been on it a bunch of times. I found but you out, ain't never learned. Found out about it afterwards that I was on it. That I was oh, filmed on it. You so know, you didn't like, even know you was live. No, no, not like that I was doing it, but somebody was like filming oh, me. Oh, you and then I found out about it afterwards. But this is the first time consensually. Because okay, well I'm glad. See, we have to ask for consent. Yeah, okay. Consent is key. Consent. Yes. The Let me find out you're dropping your L's to L's right now. <laughs> His first L to L was consent is key. That's enough. <laughs> okay, that's enough people, yeah. We ready to start. Ready to start. Well, I never yeah. learned that the hard way. I never was like, hey, what? you know. I never, <laughs> I never, I never, Thankfully I was, so. Yeah, I was like, oh, man. I'll well, never again, you know. I've never like, that. Like that <laughs> so for, um... Yeah, so for you, uh, where you at? So we're going to talk about... I don't know if you told them what we're going to talk about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I never tell them. Oh, you never tell them what? Okay. You give me an itinerary. Okay. What's she called with it? I don't know. Where, you, where is that? Just between something else. I seem like it's back too far. But like, uh, right. only a few. Yeah. Now we lost it. No, my nipples feel weird. Is that it? Yeah, no, that's, a, that's life. That's not, that was, oh, no. That's not it. That's <laughs> funny. Sometimes your nipples just feel weird. And what you gonna do? I don't know. I think, honestly, I got a weird tattoo mm -mm, when I was like 15. And this I one of my be better written ones. Weird. Okay, well, give me a second, y'all, on live. Drop it and listen to this song. Drop it low. Okay, hold on. Do you need me to find it? Maybe. Should I just do my set? Yeah, just go ahead and fuck it. Just do a whole, <laughs> just do a whole entertainment. No, no. Just, just go ahead and give it to him. You want to hear something funny, though? I'll, but I'll tell you this when I was, uh, when last week I went to a poetry mic on the south side uh, uh, at Zocalo. And there was like a little taco truck uh, in the Walker's Point, and it was a Latin poetry night. Okay? And so I go there, and I'm like, I'll just go to a poetry mic. I'm going to just see what happens. So I get there, and uh, the lady's just like, are you of Latin heritage? And I'm like, yeah, I'm not. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then, she's just like, uh, she's just like uh, are you going to do Latin-based hair or Latin-based poetry? And I'm like, yeah. No, I didn't. And, uh, <laughs> but I did it. And then I just did my set, dude. I just did my comedy set. It was a, comedy how, did, how did that go over? I murdered. First of all, crushed, leveled the room. I fucking right? love that. And then, and then, but it's fucking hilarious because it's a Bluetooth microphone, okay? So uh, yeah, yeah, I see the host just getting pissed off, and I'm crushing with the crowd. But the host, the host got so mad at me. Yeah, because you're rocking the crowd. Because I just rocked the whole room. And, uh, and then she's, I could see her in the Bluetooth microphone, and I could see her watching walking towards me to grab the microphone from me, so I just walked away from her while doing my set. <laughs> it was awesome. It was a great time. Then I got kicked out. That's okay. Uh -oh. I love that. Okay, we are, we are, we are. You did just unplug so I can't hear anything. No, no, no. It's coming back. It's back. There it is. Looks like Rudolph. Look at that. Yeah, we're about to start. We're about to start. We're about to start. We're about to get it. We're about to put the put Let's get hype. Hey, 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 let's get hype. <laughs> That's how you get hype. You just say hype over and over. Hype, hype, hype. I got my tacos here. Okay, tacos. Welcome back to another episode of the keynote address. And today, something that I've never seen on the show, you've never seen, Mr. Avery. Ray Pierre. There it is. <laughs> Avery, what is it now? Ray Pierre, which is uh, not a name you should ever have. Yeah. You know, because it's uh, I like have a whole bit about it, but it's this is bad. I mean, it's a French fencing sword, so it's not like it's a kind of oh, cool right thing. There. Like it's a sword, yeah. but it doesn't sound like that. Right it do, but I mean, but it's, so why is it not good to have? I would have. I would if you call me Keontae Ray Pierre. Yeah, but well, you pronounce it cool. You say Ray Pierre. A lot of people are like Ray 
rapier? Rapier? Not rapier. rapier. It's like rapier. Like, what was that? I got, like, rapier than you. Avery's going to rape you on the pier. High school is brutal. I don't know if I'm allowed to say No, that. you just, yeah, listen, we talk about it here. We talk about whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, high school is brutal, which is probably what let me uh, uh, stand up comedy. I feel like a lot of comedians come from like her, <laughs> like, yeah. a, like a dark ass place. So I just need to laugh to get through it. Yeah, it's my defense mechanism for sure. I love that. So, this is a show for the people, about the people, with the people, because we get high off the people. Now, I don't know if you smoke, but I do. we get high off the people here. You know what I'm saying? High off the weed here? We definitely do. I did that. You see my eyes make a little low. I ain't got no weed right now because I'm out. Wait no weed. Oh, I gotcha. Not you. Gotcha. See, first of all, Avery, the first person to bring motherfucking kids, and that's why I'm. Well, I guess bring it to the set. You're right. Okay. Bring it to the set. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. He brought it to the set because we got some after gifts. Yes. We got a few after that's gifts. Exciting. But we ain't never get no gift on the set. I love that. No, you good. Take your time. So, like I was saying, this is a show about the people for the people because we get high off the people. I don't know if you've seen the movie Judas and the Black Messiah. Dude, yeah, great movie. You're probably the first person to see it. No, I think the last person just saw it. Great film. I uh, yeah, I like that one. I thought it was good. I uh, I love that movie. movie. I'm. I'm, I thought it like was huge. How am I the first person to see it? That's what. Listen, I think we just have weird guests. Uh, They 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 black. You're the most straight and narrow. They was black. They should have seen that movie now. <laughs> maybe, Avery, the, maybe uh, that's my uh, maybe that's my ancestral guilt for me. Like I said, should learn about <laughs> whatever it is, whatever it was. I'm glad it intrigued you to watch this movie. Yeah, great movie, because it was a good movie. Um, so um, we are gonna jump right into the show, man. I'm geek that you with us, and we got the liveest audience, and they geek to have Avery on the show. Let's hear it for Avery audience. Yeah. Hey, real fucking get it. You fucking get the show. You get it. Oh. Now we blown up. First of all, let me just tell you, I love when we come in the container. Dude, you want to hear something hilarious? So my father gave me that, actually. He's like, Shout out to dad. My dad, dad yeah, my dad, dad he's like, like hey, I went uh, to Colorado. 73 years old, right? He's old as shit. Uh, yeah, I know. But so, like, this guy got drafted in Vietnam. He's, like, got a whole life and everything. We Talk can about that later. Story. But, like, so then he, uh, he comes home from Colorado. He goes on a road trip and he's just like, hey, I went to Colorado uh, I got you something and he gives me this jar and I just thought it was the jar like the empty not, not just jar. Jar. Yeah. jar and he's just like, he's like, oh yeah, because it was in the back of his truck. And I'm okay. like, so I grab it and then I go to get weed. Yeah, I, yeah. Well, I go to get weed from my dealer and then I'm like, oh, I'm just going to put it in this little jar that my dad gave me, pop it open and there's like a quad in here. I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> then I just came up. And then, and then I went over, I went over to his house a few weeks ago and I went in my old closet in my room Growing up, dude, he had like six of these in there, and I was like, Dad, it's just getting retarded. No, so let's talk about it like that. Are you out here just blowing it yeah. down? Dude, ever since he got divorced uh, from okay. my horrible mother, I'm just kidding. Okay. Just kidding. Well, first right, of all, your mother wasn't a whore, she was <laughs> a freelance she's a lady. Nice, she is a nice lady. I'm sorry, mom. I was just joking. We love you, um, mom. I love you, mom. I haven't seen you in two years. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to go. <laughs> Y'all, okay. Um, so we're going to jump into the first segment. The first segment is just a 30-second elevator pitch, right? You're going to introduce yourself to the people. you got 30 seconds. We're going to get 30 seconds on the clock. And you're just going to tell these people who you are. It's like you're applying for a job. You ever heard of 30 second, 30 second elevator pitch? Um, I think I kind of get Something it. Something like I that, yeah. It. I saw Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, it's, you know, it's the connections for me. Like you always got a connection. That's good. So at the end of your thirty seconds, or however long you take, we don't let you know if you got this job. Oh. If, okay. if you got the job, you got the job. If you didn't get the job, I should just Sorry go home. You, I mean, don't go home until we done. But after you done, go home because you ain't got nothing to do here. You ain't get no job. Okay. So whenever you're ready to start talking, the time is gonna start a ticking. Okay. Uh, are we going in? Three, two, one, let's go clock it. All right, my name is Avery Rapier. I got into stand-up comedy because comedy is my defense mechanism for everything of humor. I uh, used to be a mixed martial arts fighter before I got into uh, comedy, which is something you don't hear every day. Um, but then I had my son 
Um, and I was, you know, I cracked in my orbital bone and it like freaked him out. And I didn't want to like fight anymore and put him through that. And then I got into comedy because my brother and I would just always go to shows. Then he dared me to go to an open mic. Once I did the open mic, I don't know. If it oh, was right. That time is up. Uh, that time is up. Uh, I, I appreciate the long resume. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was good. Unfortunately, you did not get the job. That's okay. <laughs> is that it? All right. Well, fuck it. He don't well, care. So what was I playing for? What job? Because the job. The job. And you did not get the job. And I'm tell, downtown let me tell you why you didn't get the job, though. Okay. The only reason you didn't get the job was because I feel like you just want to be a stand up comedian. And unfortunately, this job is not a stand up comedian job. Fair enough. That's fair. fair I just, I try, if, I, if I'm nothing else, I try to be fair. <laughs> I'm trying to be fair. See, um, um, can I, real quick, do you have like a bobby pin or anything? Because this is plugged up like my record. Your rectum should not be plugged. I know, which is why. Uh, and we need to get you some. I was just wondering. Otherwise, if you got papers or anything, otherwise we could smoke after. I just really didn't want to be rude and thinking that I was camping on it. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Listen, okay. do not panic. First of all, number rule number one in any situation is remain calm. That's true. And That's rule number one. And what? Teamwork. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. even team, a t- team could be you. The team, yeah. That's true. It's the, you could be the team of me. Roscoe Jenkins did it. And I know you know that movie, don't you? <laughs> Welcome home, Roscoe Jenkins. I'm gonna just shout him out. Okay, so we're gonna go into this next segment. It's a quick game. It's called Riddle Me This. I feel like you're pretty witty. I try to be. I feel like you're pretty witty. So we got three riddles here. Oh boy. I don't know any of the riddles. Okay. She's gonna give us the riddles, and we're gonna guess to see who who, who can riddle her it is. I'll riddle it. I'll riddle it too. So we're gonna go with you got. I'm gonna let you choose the number. So you got uh, eighty. 84, 85, 93, and 89. Just choose one of the numbers. I'll say this. 80, 85. 80, 85. Let's hear it. Riddle 85. Okay. What word in the English language does the following? The first two letters signify a male. The first three letters signify a female. The first four letters signify a great. While the entire word signifies a great woman. Fuck. Can't say hasty. Can you do that again? Absolutely. Yeah, say that again. I what know. word in the English language does the following? And maybe we should get some pen and paper for these in the future. <laughs> the first two letters signify a male. The first three letters signify a female. The first four letters signify a great. While the entire word signifies a great woman. What's that word? I know what it is. Fix. Suffix? No. I'm gonna say magnificent. Both are wrong. Oh, what the fuck? Magnificent? <laughs> what, <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you Ma- saying? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> male, it represents male. That's right. Okay. Okay. Ma- maleficent M- or magnificent? Which one did you say? Mm-hmm. Maybe Maleficent. Maleficent. The Maleficent. I saw that this game. That was like a group effort. That was. That was teamwork. But teamwork pay off. What is it? Heroin. That's a drug. That's a legal. Thank you. Okay, that's a drug. First of all, you need to put that in the description. Also, the whole word is a drug and illegal. First of all, it's legal. So that that drug is legal. So we in Chicago. So heroin. The first two letters are he. Yeah. The first three letters are her. Uh-huh. Oh, first all four together. letters signify a hero. great, so hero. And the oh, word is a great oh. woman. And hero. Oh. That's why I didn't graduate high school, bitch. Shit like that. We don't talk about that because <laughs> I almost didn't graduate high school either. <laughs> so, we got something in common. <laughs> Let's go over And now we're here. And, okay? <laughs> trying to make, trying to entertain y'all. You hear me? Um, give me, give me 80. Riddle 80. I am a word of letters three, add two, and fewer will be. What word am I? Say that again. I'm yeah, sorry. I hate these. I words. feel like one of those hey you guys guys when you like, uh, <laughs> when you uh, just like. Uh. I'm <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is it now? I am a word of letters three. Add two, fewer. Add two, and fewer there will be. What word am I? I'll say that again. I am a word of letters three. Add two and fewer there will be. Few? Jew? 
Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> okay, it's about you. I'm just kidding. Juper. I'm, I'm just kidding. That was good. That was good. But I was smart because y'all had to say the right things. Look at this guy. I'm a genius. I'm, I'm, actually even, I'm really good at riddles. I'm not. I'm a idiot. I'm a, yeah. <laughs> but you, you <laughs> listen, we gonna figure this Boy, out. Retard idiot. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can't get this last one. Idiot. Not a retard idiot. That's actually a new word I have never heard. Put it in a dictionary, Webster. Um. Uh, 84, 93, 89. 89. 89. It's one of my favorite numbers. My brother is born in that year. Oh, this one's easy. What mm. can fill a room but takes up no space? Air? Noise. Mm. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Give me another chance. <laughs> one more chance. Um. <laughs> what takes up or fills up a room but doesn't take up space? Oh, light. Oh, uh, yeah, light sound. Um, sound. Light is the correct answer. I'm a genius! I'm a genius! Wouldn't air work, too? I feel like this is a multi I, yes. Listen, but air air can take up space. Air yeah. takes up Bart, space. Farts take up space. I crop dusted at Target on my way over here. Wait, wait, and, uh, wait, wait. What's well, that? I farted at Target, and then like I saw some guy. I was like, I'm just going to let her out. And then this couple came right in line right behind me. I was like, I'm so sorry. Did they smell it? <laughs> oh, you can tell. Yeah, Ooh, he, goes like this, they he, goes, the face. he goes like this. <laughs> the, <laughs> I can't make eye contact. It was the <laughs> for me. Um... Let's do let's do one more because I really want you to get a riddle. I want you to get one of these right. Yeah. So I, and I and I feel like you got it. I was born in '93. So let's go ahead and put that '93 up there. Also, good one. People make me, save me, change me, raise me. What am I? Oh, I know that one. Say it one more time. People make me, save me, change me, and raise me. What am I? Baby. That's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna say child. What the fuck? Food. Oh. Okay. <laughs> um, give me give me a second. People raise me. People make me. People make me. Save me. Save. Change me. And raise me. Correct. Music. Ah. What the fuck? Okay, yeah, we give up. Money. Um, raise me, change me, save me. Okay. That's stupid. Okay. <laughs> I feel like we have good answers. Yeah. That's, that's, that's like a, dealer's choice, though. Like, yeah, like, 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 uh, so you choose what you like. You, you know what I'm saying? Okay, we're going to do one last riddle because it's the last one on here, and then we're going to move on because I just love a good riddle. And, that, and this is actually my viewer's favorite game. Really? They love this game. Okay. They love They They be... Tapping in. Okay, don't you not dropping the ball? You making it good for them? Yeah. Right. Cause they're like, oh, we knew this. He wasn't like, gonna get it. They feel smart out there. You're not. I'm like, maybe good. I should be a comedian. Okay. <laughs> now you're really good at that. Yeah, oh, yeah you're really good at that. Um, I think the last one is um. I think it's another difficult one. Eighty four. Oh, I think it's eighty four. Um, it is a little difficult. Ready? Right. I wish I could whistle. <laughs> Now you're about to whistle for the rest of the game. The of the game. Oh, right. <laughs> I am this sound. Oh, whistle. <laughs> okay, I'm a word that begins with the letter I. I. If you add the letter A to me, I become a new word with a different meaning. But that sounds exactly the same. What word am I? Right after or anywhere in the word? Look, I hate word riddles. Can we not do no more word riddles on this show? That's fine. Thank you. What the fuck? I can't even read for real. One more, one more time. I am a word that begins with the letter I. Okay. If you add the letter A to me, I become a new word with a different meaning. But that sounds exactly the same. What word am I? Inferno or inferna, but pronounced inferno. <laughs> uh, ayahuasca. Yep. I'm in. I'm. I'm. My money's on this guy. Both of those are completely incorrect. Damn it. Okay, <laughs> what's the fucking answer? This is why my dad left. Shit like that. No, I'm just kidding. That's, kid. That's my mom. <laughs> <laughs> is that the answer? <laughs> <laughs> no, but actually, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> that is my dad. <laughs> the answer is I am a word that begins with the letter I. Okay. 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 Okay.
Oh, aisle like an island, and then like an aisle in a grocery store. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. You're right, fuck the riddle. Fuck the riddle. Don't riddle me this. I gotta go to the next segment. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so this next segment is is more so just about you now. We get into you now. Um, pause. Um, you know Jennifer Hudson? Yeah, the actress, yeah. Singer, actress, oh, actress lady. Yeah, yeah, the lady, yes. Uh, ooh, she got a song called Where You What? Where You What? Where You What? Said you promised me that for me. And, um, that, 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 that shit always catch me. I don't even need to sing that whole thing every time, but that shit always get me because I fuck with Jen. We love you, Jen. And take her productions. But um, I'm going to ask you where you at. And I just want you to tell the people um, I don't like I don't like your life, all the avenues you take in, the choices you made, the forks in the road. You know what I'm saying? When you look out on your life, like whatever street you have, like what do you see? What's your perspective on the world? Um, what's next to you? What's in front of you? What's behind you? What's adjacent to you? What's under you? What's above you? Where you at? You know what I'm saying? So Avery, where you at? Well, I was born a baby. Um, and then I, uh, I was actually born, yeah, I, I was, uh, I was born in California and then my dad got a job. He was one of those audio engineers. You remember that music in the bookstores back in the day? I it was, was have, uh, it was like having, <laughs> that's a great movie. It is. <laughs> that's a great movie. He got the record store. And the, yeah. The so he, he made, um, my father made rainforest music, which is just like the sounds of like the rainforest. <laughs> I feel like that's challenging shit. because it's, how do you make that sound dude? I don't know, man. You go into a forest and then like take a little sound recorder on it and then like amplify it on it it's this whole thing but so he got a job in wisconsin and then he uh we're from uh right outside of la in culver city and we moved there and then he uh gets through the first winter he's like fuck this and he like bails and it's it's fine it's cool uh but then like um my mom ended up remarrying this guy who later on adopted me um, and who's my fa- my father, the 73-year-old guy who gives me weed. Um, Shout out to 73-year-old dad. Roger, I love you. We love you, Roger. <laughs> we love you, Roger. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, like, he's, and so, I don't know, I, I was, like, troubled as a kid, and I ended up going to Lincoln Hills and had to drop out of high oh, school, because, yeah, I was there for about nine months, and then, nine months for one stretch, and then seven months the next. And so I ended up having to drop out of high school, and then I, uh, had to, my, I got out of high school, or I'm sorry, I got out of Lincoln Hills, and my social worker was like, Avery, you can either go to this military school called the Challenge Academy, or you can go back to Lincoln Hills. So I go to the like, Challenge Academy. Oh, you went for and, Challenge? Yeah, because, I, well, I knew I, could, I knew I could graduate high school then. Like, if, I, with the challenge if I, I could get my degree okay. and then move okay. on with my life. So I get, I do that, and then right after, because it was all military-based, I felt like I had to be in something of like a discipline setting as a young man. So I ended up joining the army right out of that. I mm-hmm. uh, did four years when I got out, uh, when I was 22, I started basically personal training, doing martial arts and all that stuff. Oh, and have a look back, and started fighting, all that stuff. Then I had my kid, um, and then the got, into, got into comedy after that. And so I feel like I have a good perspective as far as just having good life experience yeah, uh, yeah. from you know, kind of having a fucked up youth, but being able to appreciate uh, what I have now. Because I, I know that it can all get taken away. Yeah. Um, so I like that aspect of everything. Uh, you know, I love comedy. I love doing comedy because it just, you know, you're, you're helping people. You right. feel like you're helping people. Well, so you're doing training. Uh, you feel like you're genuinely impacting people's lives. And right. Yeah, I don't know. I mean... I, I don't know if that's an answer, but... Uh, I mean, if it's not, I'm going to ask you again, <laughs> so you good. I like the conversation, so you right, good. Right. Where you going? Um, so, where would you say you at right now in life? Like, we, 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 we've been to with you, you know, in high school. Being in civilian life, working with general population all the way to athletes in the UFC. Right. Um, and then being able to tell jokes all over the country, man. It's yeah. like the best experience ever to be able to get immersed in different cultures, different areas of life, and uh, I feel like it's one of the most eye-opening, free things in the world. Thanks. So my question now is, when did you do your first show um, for, the, like, for like through military? Like, did you do it while you were in the military? Like you did that? Okay, well, let me slow it. Slow down. Um, what was your first show in comedy? Ever. 
Uh, well, I went, okay, so my brother and I, right when I got out of the military, I lived in Oshkosh. My brother was going to school in Oshkosh. I hate Oshkosh. I didn't know that. It, there is nothing it's in Oshkosh. It's so boring. It's very it's, boring. Uh, but so they had a little comedy club right by the college. Thing. Okay, now there's something to do now. Yeah, yeah. So they had a little comedy club down there, and I had always, I'd always loved doing comedy, uh, or watching comedy, you know, um, growing up, like Dave Chappelle, the blue collar comedy tour, even like Ron White, that guy fucking cracks. Uh, but you know, I'd always watch it growing up, and uh, so my brother dared me basically, hey, good, why don't you? You've always said you yeah. wanted to do this, uh, why don't you go try and sign it up? So I signed up, and I actually like did pretty well. Uh, the material wasn't good, but like, I like looking back, I was like, how did I get a laugh out? But, uh, yeah. This sucks. Yeah, this is garbage. I'll never do this. No. But, yeah. all drunk. but yeah, <laughs> I, I did it. I had such an adrenaline rush. It yeah. was awesome. Like, uh, you know, and I just I, I signed up the very next week. Did the same thing. Did the same thing. Did the same thing. Been doing it ever since. So, did you prepare before like you did yeah. your first show? Yeah, I am a psycho when it comes to that. I full on like uh, like. I would sit and have my video camera right there, like on my cell phone, and I'd do the whole set, do my animation, right, do my facial on. expressions with the pause, do the whole thing, look at the video, be like, I didn't like that, and then do it all over again, sync it, like that's it good, just that's fucking good. Dedication. That's yeah. good dedication. Yeah. I was gonna say that word. That's great dedication, man. So, um, out of all your comedy um, shows or comedy events, what would be your most memorable? What was your most memorable? Not you remember one of them. Well, there's been a few of them. Uh, one that really sticks out, uh, I got to do, so the UFC came into town uh, a few years ago. And uh, yeah, it was so cool. Dana White came, Rogan came, Tyrone Woodley. Uh, I mean, anybody. <laughs> the stars. Under, yeah, it was, it was awesome. And uh, they came, all came out and I got to do like 10 minutes and I got to do a bunch of jokes that like only MMA people would know, you know, like yeah, if I do yeah. it in like a regular room, it'd probably bomb. This room, yeah. right, because I'd be uh, like, <laughs> like, I don't know, I don't know what you're who is that? Um, yeah, because I but, didn't know nobody you named. But, yeah, they but it, was, it was fun and I got to like, I had a whole, I got to chit chat with uh, Dana White for a little bit. He told me I was funny. I was like, hell yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, it was, it was great. It was a great time. I think that would probably be the most memorable. That's cool. Um, do you think that like um, you being so? Let's talk about this last name, French. 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 Yes. So you French. So I just took a DNA test. Only two percent French. Not the name is the most French thing about it. The only okay. French thing about Maybe you're far removed from that part of. Yeah, I know. Okay, so my uh, mom. The story goes uh, when my. Family came over from Ellis Island to Ellis Island. Um, they came over as Ray Pier, R A P I E R. And then at Ellis Island, due to all the, like the mass immigration, right. they just like fucked the name up and dropped the I. So for a generation, it's spelled R A P E R, which is not good. That's no, not good that's at all. not good. That's not good. Anyway, I don't want that so, name. So <laughs> then my mom, when she uh, had kids, she legally. So I was actually born Avery Raper. Uh, and then she changed it like a year later or two years later and put the eye back in. So, she's like, yeah, I'm not gonna let him go. I'm glad we are not our good moving forward. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> that first year was a little rough, guys. Okay. We got through it. Right. Right. Paper. No, no, no. Like, but also, okay. if you're gonna change the name, just change it to fucking Smith or something. Like my my stepdad's name is Davis. Let me get Davis. That Davis is not a name. Davis. Ad. Yeah, AD. 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 I would call him Ad for sure. I'm like, Ad. Ad. Like, what's happening? Every day. Like, right here is cool, but Ar. That's the yeah. cool yeah. thing. Ar. It's almost my initial. So my initials is Avr, which is almost my name. Pretty cool. Okay. That is cool because my initials is Cab. And I never got that to catch him on. I used to want people to call me that for a minute, but yeah, yeah K A B, that didn't work out. I'm Whatever. Here. Oh. <laughs> right. We out here. Oh, yeah. Avery <laughs> with his real name. <laughs> Aver, Aver, Aver. That's, that's not too bad. Aver. Not too bad. We should name him. Like if you get a dog, name him Aver. I have a cat named Bruce. He's pretty cool. Oh, Bruce. <laughs> Bruce, get out here, Bruce. Bruce. Um. So my next question. Do you feel like um, being a white comedian has been like more of a challenge, especially like being like in Milwaukee? Because when I saw you, you was at the ghetto club, you was at Oasis. The shit go down at Oasis. <laughs> I I don't know, man. It's I feel 
maybe in a certain sense, like a lot of comedy clubs, like if you're a straight white dude like myself uh, in this PC age, a lot of people will God, will like to get a woman or like a black dude on yeah. instead. But at the same time, it's like, dude, what do I have to complain about? My Back. biggest thing is just like, just show up, be funny. And funny, funny consistently, yeah. kill every time you go on, or do the best of your ability to, and then good things will happen. You no, yeah, like you that. definitely got so I don't, that. I don't let that shit sweat me. Too. That's what's up. I love that. I love, let's shop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm going to give you the opportunity, because I got to be honest. I, I think I told you I missed, I missed most of your set at Oasis, because okay. I had stepped out. I want to know, or I want to just like hear maybe a good. Four minutes of a good. That's too long. Oh no! I to, yeah, I, I thought you wasn't know. ready. No, okay. yeah, I mean, uh, um, like just go. Just go. I just want to hear. I'm, I'm ready to. Ga, ga, ga. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, so I'm kind of going through like a this weird life change right now, actually. So I uh, right before this pandemic, actually, I got out of this five year relationship, and then we broke up on a Monday. Then that Shout Thursday. out to breaking up. Yeah, right. That has to happen sometime. You gotta talk to the comedian doing his. Yeah, please don't interrupt my set. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this is about me now. Okay. Uh, this is a monologue. Reclaim your time. Reclaim it. Okay, I'll restart. <laughs> um, but so we break up on that Monday, then that Thursday came around, and she called me up. She's like, Avery, we need to talk. And I was like, what's up? And she's like, I cheated on you. And I'm like, man, you didn't need to tell me that. You know, I'd be fine not knowing that. She's like, no, I did need to tell you that because uh, the guy I slept with had gonorrhea, and I'm pretty sure I gave it to you. I'm like, man, Mondays are the worst. <laughs> That's a doozy of a day. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so then I go to the health club, I give it a Google, I look up the gonorrhea, and I'm like, oh, I should probably get that removed. Uh, I should probably get that gum. Uh, get that gonorrhea gum. And uh, so I go to the health clinic the next day, and there's this big gay dude at the front desk, and he's like, hey, baby, can I help you? And I'm like, well, I fucking hope so, dude. I'm at the health clinic. And I'm like, well, yeah. Uh, so uh, he's like, what happened? I was like, well, my girlfriend of five years cheated on me with a guy named Ben uh, from sales. Um, no. And gave me gonorrhea. I got gonorrhea. I was hoping he could get that gonorrhea gone and I could go on with my day. And uh, he's like, oh, baby, I'll take care of you. And I'm like, what do you mean you're going to take care of me? Which is kind of homophobic of me, but also super narcissistic because I have an STD right now. There's no way this guy's like trying to fuck. You know? Definitely not. <laughs> but so he gives me a shot in each butt cheek. And then he just like sends me on my way. And as I'm walking out the door, he's like, hey man, and I was like, what's up? He's like, don't dance with the devil or the devil's gonna dance with you. And I was like, I don't even know what that means. And I just walked away and I've been wondering about it ever since. And, uh, but you know, like, so I do a lot of online dating now because of that, because I do comedy every night of the week. So every girl I see, I just oh, get man. done telling her I had gonorrhea. So it doesn't always work, you know? Uh, so I do a lot of online dating. Um, <laughs> But I realize, like, I'll see a girl like in a bar or a restaurant, and like, I realize I'm a waver. Like, I wave to people, hi. If a girl's like really hot, I'll do the double wave. All right. <laughs> Nobody wants to fuck the waver, you know? No. Right away, right away. I'll warm up to you, but uh, yeah, not right away. It's like, what the fuck is it? What are you insane? Uh, okay. But then, like, I with online dating, you get catfished sometimes. I got catfished by this one chick. Um, in her profile picture, she had two eyebrows, okay? Um, mm. Showed up with one eyebrow and attitude problems. And I was like, bitch, you gotta pick one. Okay. You know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pick one. All right, you can't just show up with a unibrow and a negative attitude. That's not how the world works. Not here. But then, uh, you know, we were like drinking and everything. We were drinking a lot. And then I did the whole, what would you look like? with one eyebrow <laughs> thing. You know, we've all been there before. And uh, then I took her back home, we'd start macking on each other, and then like, I take her back to my house, and uh, she like, you know, we're macking on each other, and uh, she's like, Avery, keep in mind, this is the first night we met. She's like, Avery, uh, <laughs> can you eat my ass? And I'm like, well, what the, first of all, no. Okay. Uh, second of all, you don't shave your eyebrow. Like, what do you do down there? <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here! Don't you ain't never shaved the eyebrows? So yeah. Well, then I'm like, dude, if you don't take care of your headlights, you're not gonna take care of your exhaust, dude. This Thank is you. fucking basic maintenance. Uh, all right, that's all. I, I, I'm, that, I'm, that's I'm, good. <laughs> that, I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. Okay, shout out, shout out to Avery. Not bad for an improv. Right? Yeah. <laughs> definitely not bad at all. That was definitely good, y'all. So make sure y'all are in tune to this comedian, man. He's funny as. 
Funny as I'm trying to get it, get you something that's funny. Funny as the word tussling. Have you? That's, that's really, a good word. That's really one of my favorite laughing at words. I like nipple. Nipple makes me laugh. All, every time we're here, I'm 30 nipple. years old. Funny nipple. as a nipple. Okay, you funny as a nipple. Funny as a nipple. That's hilarious. <laughs> my buddy actually did this. Is 100 percent true? Uh, he's got one big nipple and one regular nipple. We've been calling him Big Nip Jim since we were like 12. <laughs> and then, so, like three weeks ago, he's like, "Hey man, I think I'm gonna get my nipple pierced because uh, it's gonna take the focus away from my my uh, lopsided nipple." I was like, "Jim, that's not gonna. That's not gonna happen." That's not gonna help take focus What's off your nipple. Get He'd get the little one pierced, so then it swells yeah. up. Maybe he gets a little ink poisoning, or you know, who, knows? who knows? Who knows? Let's get it inflamed. <laughs> <and figure it. laughs> Let's get it inflamed. Make sure he's a dirty, um, a dirty pierced <laughs> nipple thing rod. Shout out to Big Nip Jim, everybody. Big Nip Jim. <laughs> Shout out to Big Nip Jim. You uh, so we're going to jump into this next segment, and it's just called L's to L's. Um, so what I want you to do, you just think about your life and some losses you took and the lessons you learned from those losses. And so you don't have to tell um, the entire story. Uh, but <laughs> my studio audience is amazing. People, I love them. Look at that. Uh, but you're going to tell me um, the lesson that you had, the lessons you learned. You don't have to tell the full story. Sure. You just drop the lesson. Um, but if you want to tell the story, we're here to listen. Because I fuck with it. So... L's to L's, and I'm on two because it's L's to L's. Uh, yeah, see, people be thinking it's T-O. Yeah. That's what I thought. See? I thought see? it was loss to learn. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Right. It's losses to, uh. as in value. <laughs> That's my whistle. Is that your whistle? <laughs> I'm going to get that shit. <laughs> I'm just, okay. That's pretty good. Th thank you. That's pretty good. So, okay. yeah, go ahead. Jump these lessons. Well, um, I mean, like, you know, I went to Juvie when I was 15. And, you know, just from getting everything taken away where you're just a kid fucking around. Right, right. And then, like, so basically I got in this fight with this guy at the skate park. Okay. And it was just over some bullshit. And, like, when I hit him, he tripped. He fell, but then his head fell on the quarter ramp of the skate park, like the thing Jeez. you jump off of. So when he fell, it, like, busted his whole shit open, and he was, like, lifeless on the floor, right? And I'm like, in that moment, I'm like, oh shit, like this is not what I thought was gonna happen, you know? Yeah, it's just like some scrap over some bullshit when we were kids, like right over a little bit of weed or something, I don't even remember. <laughs> but like, uh, so I'm like, shit. And like, so just like that, everything changes. Everything okay. changes. So it just makes me appreciate everything I have now because I know one minute it can just be gone. Like during the beginning of the pandemic, cool. when everybody was panicking, I was just, I was laughing. I was just like, you guys have never gone through anything. <laughs> so much, you have like, never had like, you have never had anything. A lot of people right. compared the quarantine to being in jail. There was a lot of like controversy over that because the two are not the same. I, did, I don't think they're the same. No, it's not nearly as bad. Yeah, but what do you mean? Sitting on Netflix but for and people, hanging out and yeah. jerking off six times a day and zooming from work and <laughs> yeah, what are you talking about? This is not like jail at all. <laughs> oh, we Jesse can't. Wayward's. Okay. You gotta stick your asshole to the wall when you're in the shower. It's like not today. <laughs> not today. <laughs> not you got Sunday. You're like no, well, fuck it. I'm off the wall today. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay, so that lesson just be grateful. I just bought a shirt that said be grateful. And I yeah, be fuck grateful. with that. Definitely gotta be appreciative of the things you have because like you said, stuff literally can be taken away from you in an instant. Just like that. Man. And when you like when you said like people were panicking during the pandemic, uh panicking pandemic? Panicking pandemic. That didn't work. That's Maybe close though. But we get that. <laughs> Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> But uh, like how you were saying, people were panicking because they literally take shit for granted. Like yeah. being able just to leave your house for a walk, bro. Like people right. take that shit for granted to even have a house to leave. Like people take that shit for granted. Um, so that's that's what's up. Be grateful. Be grateful. That's 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 the first lesson. Second lesson. Um, I was a teacher, so I feel like lessons are important. Good. Okay, I learned this from martial arts. Like I got into martial arts when I was younger, and it was rough first getting into it because you know i was going against people that were professional fighters i got right into an mma gym with basically no experience just a little bit of high school wrestling and uh i was thrown in with the wolves and i just basically had to figure it out and got my ass whooped As for should. two years you know two years just getting wrecked every day and then just going home figuring it out but if you stick with something you get good 
and like I've trained with people that I've I've seen um, you know throughout the years that would just maul me. And now yeah. when we roll, it's the other way around. Like I have a student that I train right now, um, well, Alex Cooney, who's a professional fighter, who used to just Alex. work the shit out of me right. when we were first start, and now he comes to me just for one on one lessons. You know, it's like if you That's stick crazy. with stuff you get good and it's translated into everything like I've been doing personal training almost 10 years now wait uh, you know I own you're my personal own. trainer yeah I okay own listen my own I'm going to Mexico yeah. in a couple days okay yeah we can't do anything for that but uh <laughs> 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 it's too short notice buddy okay I'm, uh, going, I'm going at the end of July oh okay yeah then we got time yeah, so I, okay we'll talk, I'm, let's talk <laughs> I'm gonna have my shirt off in Mexico but okay so yeah. that's like a, okay, stick yeah. with something, you're gonna get good at it. If you stick with it and you stick with the passion and the compassion that got you into it in the first place, yeah. and realize that that's you're good. not gonna get good overnight, but it's an art, right? Like martial arts, it's a physical art of your body. Comedy is an art that you do with your mind, and you, you have to you have to make a group of strangers laugh. Right. Like music, anything, any sort of artistic expression, it's gonna take time. And yeah, there's variables like you might be very naturally talented. But if you don't work hard, it's never going to get it. Right, right. It's a common denominator. You just got to stay consistent and stay passionate. I think one thing you said was like um, sticking to that compassion you had when you first started. Not even just sticking to something, but sticking to the compassion and that drive you had. Like you can lose your interest in something, but like if you've got to, if, going with the stick to itiveness of it, like keep that passion. Like just find that passion that had you get into it in the first place. Right. Just to stick with other things really. Um, a good lesson, but just being able to dedicate yourself to something is, is something that a lot of people should work on. Even me, us, everybody in this room is like, could be better at just kind of, you know, sticking to something. Stick right? with us. Yeah, seeing, stick it, with seeing it through, like, don't quit. I fuck with that. What she say, dude? Dust yourself up and try again. Oh, yeah. Dust yourself up and try again. Try again. Ah! At first, you don't succeed. We sing on this show. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> okay, I got, I got that. Yeah. I okay, yeah. We yeah, have a couple of songs. We have a I like songs. the hand sanitizer right here. We're very oh, COVID safe you. here. All right. Waxed and vaxxed and ready to <laughs> set. Right? Waxed wow. and vaxxed and ready to set. I'm not vaccinated. I can't lie on that. Oh, okay. shimmy, shimmy. Yeah, I okay. just tell people I am. Oh. <laughs> and I'm with that. Okay, let me just never. I was going to tell you this after this because I was going to be going to jail. <laughs> Lord. I was going to be because the government was going to find me. Okay. Um, Mark Zuckerberg, Mark Wahlberg, whatever his name Dinkleberg. is. Dinkleberg. Dinkleberg. Okay. Um, Michael Scott. Okay. Mike Scott. That's from The Office. Do black people watch black The people Office? Love oh, they love The Black people. <laughs> Do you? Okay. Yeah, I ain't gonna say yeah, all black people. Yeah, I know I do. I hear that. I always hear the comparison to Friends. Like, uh, you, you know. See, but I like Friends. Okay. Right. I fuck with Friends. See, no one told me life was gonna be this way. Wow. You found it broke it down. You love life the old way. See, no one told me was gonna be this Cause it hasn't been your day, your week, your month, or even your year, but I have no idea what the words are. Though. I'll be there for, for you. you. I so I, I definitely was <laughs> up the words to that because they was like, it seems like you're always just stuck in second gear, seeing some something. But they said DOA. I'm like, what's that mean? And my mom was like, you're likely either dead or alive. And I'm like, oh. Shit. Have you ever seen the uh, Undercover Brother? I have. Her? Dude, you remember that scene when they're like putting them through all the white tests? The white they got in the duck shoes and all that shit? And then they're just like, they're asking them trivia questions and they're like, on season six, episode 14. Of right. And they're like, Ross said, what the fuck? <laughs> right. That's crazy that black people, first of all, black people love friends, I think. But then when Let the Single came out, it was just like, uh, let me turn the channel. Let the Single actually preceded. Okay, well then when Martin came out, they're like, oh, <laughs> when we're Fresh Prince of Bel Air, I don't well, know. What was that one character, Martin, who was like a drug dealer, but they never, uh, never fully talked about him, but he always had to disappear, and then he'd just come back, and they'd well, be also, fifth love? Is that what his name is? I don't, that's it. I don't think he was a drug dealer. He I felt just, like they alluded to it the whole time, but they never, like, made it a thing. That might, I, I have never, I never thought that Brum Man from the fifth love was a drug dealer. I just thought he was a naked and was just trying to come to the crib. But he probably is. I never saw. Let us know in the comments. Let us know what y'all think. Was he probably ever gonna fill we'll the it out. We'll read it on Reddit later. Later. Right. Right. We'll, we'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. So, this next segment is called Tony the Life. Tony the Life. 
It was almost like a bucket. Twenty to life. Like we're here, we're here, baby. So, um, twenty to life is just a segment where you go twenty years into the future from right now, and just tell me where you see yourself, what you're doing, how you living, what what's life like twenty years from now. So, how old will you be twenty years from now? I'll be fifty. I'll be fifty, and I'm gonna be on all the steroids so I can keep this meat wagon going. First of all. Uh, oh, okay. All of them, baby. Uh, First of all, steroids. I, I got steroids at a hospital once, and I'm like, wow, not this work. Great. Yeah, this is great. Okay, I feel better. I feel great. This is great. Okay, but don't do steroids. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I, I see myself being like so. Basically, 20 years from now, my son will be 26, and he'll be a full man. I've Decided. I've told myself uh, to take my fatherhood first. My those those um, responsibilities. responsibilities that I have. But I have. Uh, you know, I'm going to get what like my unofficial black belt in comedy in the meantime, where I'm getting the time, the reps in, doing all the work, and then when he's 18, then I'm hitting the fucking races. And I take him every year. We're gonna. I take him out. We're going to that's Texas, basically. That's every year we go, go to Austin. So I want to integrate him into that world because that's where I want to move mm-hmm. when he goes. So when he's 18, I'm like, hey, man, this is where I'm going to be. Uh, you know, I want to be about to, to move. Yeah, <laughs> so, so this is where we're going to be. So, like, I would love for you to be here. Right. Obviously, I'll pay for his apartment, like, hopefully yeah. first year or something. Be, hopefully be able to be in a financial situation where, like, he probably won't want to live with me when he's 18. No, I'm not you. Not and, you. Uh, my dad. Yeah, 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 no. dad. yeah, for sure. And, um, I lived with you when I was 18. Yeah, cool. yeah dude. And then yeah, I, my yeah. grandfather would bring me weed. I'm yeah. in. I'll give my son weed when he's a grown up. But yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. But, like, I mean, so yeah, I see myself. In the country doing comedy, man. Just That's what's up. Thing. That's what's up. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be watching. Hell yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be no, like, I'll be there, man. I'll be there. I got some big shit I can't okay. talk about. Remember. I got some big shit popping off this summer that I can't quite talk about because it's not official, but it's always oh, official because you said it. You just meant no, the I, I, it's I, out there. It's it's not, dude, we got some things popping this summer. So as soon as you just said it, you just made it official. So when it's come out, like, remember I told y'all? No, we're gonna do it. It's what it is. Shout out to big shit popping a little shit stop. Hey! Cause we ain't doing no more little shit, baby. It's 2021. If you're still doing little shit, you're underage. Thank you. Whoever Q is, thank you. Shit. Okay, man, Avery, I appreciate you again one more time. Did you want to shout out any, like, any, I, I know you got your shit happening, you can't say, but is there anything else that you got coming up, some shows you want to tell the people about? Oh my gosh. Well, I mean, I got some stuff like in Waterton I have to I got some stuff uh, they, they travel, I got, they travel. Okay, yeah I'm, I'm doing it this is weird as fuck but I'm doing a pro wrestling comedy gig so they have me going out during the middle of a pro com- professional wrestling thing and uh, telling some dick jokes that'll be weird um, <laughs> dick jokes It'll I feel fun. like you don't start wrestling with it. No, dude, I don't know. Fuck it. it. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm excited because I've only seen pro wrestling live like twice. So, and every single time, it's super entertaining. Yeah, it's the biggest. That's how I know I'm still white trash. No, I'll my watch brother, that. My and brother's like, white this trash. This is amazing. This is amazing. I'll listen to Slipknot once a year just to see I'm still trash. <laughs> just so you just, yeah. just, just verify, like, I'll be like, yeah, still <laughs> trash. It's my June 10th, still trash. All right, see you next year. year. Oh, all right, we'll see listen to it again. We'll listen to this. Like one over three next dog. So stupid, dog. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure I'm still my just That's it. I'm like, 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 We'll keep, we'll, we'll keep our fingers crossed because you never know. Um, so, okay, before we end the show, you know, at the end of the year, like when you graduate high school, they give out the yearbooks, right? Everybody the most likely. Oh, nice. Not everything is falling apart. Heard a bunch of dishes. Okay. So, sidebar. Uh, I went to the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. Oh, cool. Thanks. And so when anybody went to the cafe or dropped anything, you just start clapping. And that'd be so embarrassing because the whole auditorium or the yeah. whole cafeteria just clapping for you. And just trying to pick up all your shit. Like, I'm, shut the fuck up. Like, leave me alone. <laughs> so shout out to whoever did that. We love you. Um, so we do uh, most likely, just like at the end of the year. So we're going to give you three names, people. Oh. And then we'll give you three events. Okay. And so you just tell me who do you think is most likely to do what? Okay. And that's how we're going to do that. 
You cheated. Let me think. You not Danny. Whatever. Okay. So your your characters or your three names are Chris Rock, mm-hmm. Anderson Cooper, okay, and Ben Stiller. Okay. Okay. All right. And now your events. Yeah, we're, I think it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Your events are losing a boxing match to Cat Williams. Catch STI from One Night Stand with Mini Me from Austin Powers. Oh, yeah. oh my god. Yeah, it gets bright. It gets dark. It gets it's dark. Right. Um, and hey, then. Just so you know your video thing right now. Oh, that's fine. We at the end now, oh, so yeah. it don't even matter. Um, and then the last one is. Oh, um, goes bankrupt producing 13 Reasons Why live on Ice. Anderson Cooper loses that one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Anderson Cooper goes <laughs> bankrupt. bankrupt. Yeah, yeah, he <laughs> said, this needs to be on Broadway. Yeah, he just, he's on like, ice. On ice. ice. Yeah. <laughs> Put this on ice. This is good. This Put is good. ice. Yeah. <laughs> Put it on ice. Yeah. Okay. I love that. I think, uh, <laughs> no, this uh, is good. I think Ben Stiller would lose a boxing fight to Cat Williams just because he's too that. nice of a guy. I think he could physically look as if he was a survivor. <laughs> Yeah, if you wanted to. Just be like, all right, sorry, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and then, what was the third one? The last one was, oh, your last person was Chris Rock. Yeah, yeah. But then the uh, event was um, Catch yeah, an STI yeah. from Oh, yeah, one absolutely. Night absolutely. He cheated on his wife a million times, didn't he? Yeah, sounded yeah. about right yeah, to me. Yeah, a bunch of lawsuits and all, all that I mean, hey, I don't blame him. Yeah, but, good. like, I mean, I, you know, what, do, do your thing. But, you know, like, if you're Chris fucking Rock, you're, you can fuck mini me all day. Yeah, I fuck, dude. Give me twenty grand, I'll fuck mini me. You know, I'm just kidding. <laughs> don't, <laughs> just don't, don't catch the STI like he did. Just okay. be that part. I already had got a real baby. <laughs> <laughs> not I've been there. Does not been there. Done that. Like it's fucking. <laughs> Avery, man, we want to appreciate you for being on the show yeah, one more time, man. Fun. We had a great time yeah, with yeah, you, and yeah, I appreciate you, you for coming on the show. Um. Anything else you want to tell them before we leave, man, at all? Where can they follow you? Where can they find you, man? Check me out on Instagram, <laughs> Avery Mayhem. Check me out on Twitter, Avery Mayhem. Uh, check me out on Facebook, Avery Rapier. With the eye. Um, with an eye. Don't do that um, <laughs> uh, And... Farts and queers. I don't know. I love that. I love that. I love that. Make sure y'all follow me everywhere. Keynote the Bishop on all social media. On YouTube, Keynote the Bishop. Search me and then you should find me. Because if you seek, you shall find. And that's in the Bible. It's not in the Bible. It's in the Bible. (laughs) So it got to be true. Um, Avery again, man. Thanks for coming on the show. I had a blast with you, bro. I I hope you enjoyed this. Yeah, Yeah, I had a good ass time. This was fun. Um, And we just end the show like that. So I'll see y'all next time. And if I don't, it's because y'all not watching with y'all dumb ass. But y'all not dumb. I love y'all. Bye. Bye.